your skin, Big Bandage. Hello, Perfect Beauties. My name is Daisy, and if you guys don't know me, I am the CEO and founder of Vanish and the original creator on this YouTube channel. And I've missed you guys so much. And today, I was watching Whitney Simmons' video, 25 Things I've Learned by the Time I Was 25. And I feel like being older is such a good thing. And every year that you're lucky to live in this wonderful world, you should be so grateful and tell everybody your age. Like, hey, I've experienced 29 amazing years. So here we go. I'm gonna give you 29 things I've learned since 29. The first thing is nobody really cares about you. So that means nobody cares about you in terms if you make a mistake, if you fall flat on your face, people might laugh at you that one day, but nobody's gonna remember about it tomorrow. Nobody really remembers the things that happen to you as much as you remember it to yourself, so don't be embarrassed. Number two is you can have everything that you've ever wanted and still be unhappy. So there have been points in my life where I have had everything I've wanted and I still wasn't happy. And then there have been times in my life where I didn't have everything that I wanted and it was some of the happiest moments of my life. But it was interesting that I didn't know it was the happiest moments of my life until afterwards. Because I think I was so infatuated with wanting more and more and more and more. By the time I actually was looking back on my life, I realized, wow, you know, that moment where I had nothing was probably some of the happiest moments. Number three is you need to be out for yourself. So in this world, it's, I don't want to say it's a negative and dark world because it's not, but you cannot be so naive and innocent into thinking people are going to help you here and there. You really have to be out for yourself and put yourself first in certain situations. I think I've been able to learn from my parents who were both first generation immigrants. They're very much, you know, out for themselves and their family. You can't let people walk over you a lot of times. You have to be out for yourself and put yourself in a position where you're gonna succeed. Because again, nobody's gonna care about you except for yourself. Number four, cute but uncomfy shoes are totally not worth it. It's okay to have like one or two really cute pairs in your closet. I only have one pair of Louboutin shoes in my closet. I used to have like five and I sold all of them. And I probably wear that pair of shoes like once a year while doing an Instagram pic. So um, they're just not comfortable. They're not practical in my life. And even if I try to wear them somewhere, I can't even get out from the parking lot to where I'm trying to go. So it's not even worth wearing them. So yeah, it's just not worth it. Number five, ugly shoes are worth it though. The uglier, the better. I love the orthopedic shoes, the shoes nurses wear. I mean, I'm all about that. So when I travel, I wear Clark's. I wear, you know, tennis shoes. Just comfy shoes are totally worth it. And expensive comfy shoes, like the ones that are $150, they're just so good for your back and your feet. Number six is invest in your skin. Now, I'm not saying this because I run a skincare line. I don't mean by just going out there and buying like super, super expensive products, but investing in your skin, you know, making sure you're taking off your makeup at night, making sure you're drinking a lot of water, making sure you're staying out of the sun, making sure you give your skin a break and making sure that you're using really good products on your skin and not trying to do all the latest treatments in your skin. I honestly really regret doing the CO2 laser on my skin. I think it made it a lot worse than it is <laughs> because I was really like apt to trying out trendy treatments and it made my skin worse in the long run. So take care of your skin. Don't always go after the newest trendy ingredients or whatever, use natural products and less is more when it comes to that. Number seven, when people show you who they are, believe them. Um, I've been able to deal with this a lot better since I'm a business owner, but when people make excuses and when people don't do what they're supposed to do or when people aren't honest, you just have to believe that that's who they are and you can make excuses in your head for why they aren't, but when they show you who they are, you have to believe them. You can't create the story in your head of, oh no, they just had a bad day or oh no, they just forgot or oh no, they're a really good person and kind of just objectively lay things out because Again, when people show you who they are, believe them, right? If your boyfriend cheats on you five times, he's a cheater, okay? Eight, invest in your body. Definitely build the habit of exercising. I love to exercise. Exercise is my meditation, is my retreat, is something that I look forward to every single day, but I've had to build this habit up for the past four or five years of exercise. And I also have really cute gym clothes to exercise in, but just build the habit of exercising because the older you get, the harder it is 
to get in that habit. And if you already have the habit, once you have kids and you have a really busy job and you have other responsibilities, it'll just automatically kind of go into your lifestyle like that. Nine, I put Lululemon is worth it. <laughs> So there are certain things in life that are worth it and that are not worth it. To me, $100 yoga pants are worth it because I wear them all the time and they encourage me to work out and to live a healthy lifestyle. But in terms of what's worth it, what's not, designer handbags are not worth it to me. I don't care for them. I don't care for designer things, but I need my Lululemons in my life. So just really think about you know, what's worth it in your life and what's not. And you don't have to like have name brand everything of everything. 10, it's okay to say no to things that don't give you good energy. So I have been invited to so many party launches, events, speaking opportunities, blah, blah, blah. And I say no to a lot of them simply because it's not in my current list of priorities and it doesn't really give me like great energy. Now, if these events gave me amazing energy afterwards, I would probably go to them, but because I don't, I feel, and I feel like it's kind of like I have to drive there and it just, it kind of drags me down, prevents me from like focusing on my priorities. I say no to things and it's okay to say no. 11, be careful of brands that are trying to sell you this um, ideal image that they want you to change yourself. So like, for example, the, the, the companies that are like, lose, 30 pounds this week by taking these pills. Like, no, that's not gonna happen. And be careful of them that are trying to sell you things or, you know, there's courses like be a millionaire overnight by attending this $30,000 seminar. Any company or product or brand or service that gives you that big of a promise is just full of shit. They're just trying to sell you something. 12, the same thing that goes with that is be careful of people or companies saying, if you only have this, you will get that. If only you have this, you will do that. If only you have our little like treadmill machine, you will lose the weight. It's not. Everything in life is a progress and a process. And it's not, there's never ever one magic solution that changes something for you. It's just a combination of a lot of different things at a lot of different times. And it's a lot of patience and persistence. 13. Invest and schedule time with your loved ones. You will not regret it. So um, I recently went on a trip to Hawaii. The plane tickets were astronomically expensive. I would have never spent that much money on hotel rooms and plane tickets because it was like last minute and like busy season. But it was really the only time that um, we could go on a trip um, that all of our schedules aligned. So I decided to splurge and do it and I totally do not regret it and I've never regretted any kind of money I've spent on experiences or time I've spent on experiences with people I love. So definitely invest time into that. Number 14, money spent on experiences is worth it. Vacations, travel, uh, you know, going to talks, working out for me, you know, anything that has to do with like doing something I feel like has been worth it in my opinion. 15, have a bunch of black yoga pants. Just the black yoga pants that are pretty thin or have the little roll down waist. I have like seven of them. I have worn those and they have all have holes in the crotch. I don't know how because I have so many other pants, but I constantly wear them. They're amazing for travel, for working out, for you know, running errands, for pajamas, for going on an airplane, whatever. Just have a ton of these black yoga pants laying around. You will not regret it and you will always be wearing them. <laughs> and then number 16 is always have a bunch of those camisoles with the built-in bras. Those are amazing. You wear them and layer them under shirts wear them when you travel they're really great um just as a little like sleeping little sleeping tank top they're amazing so i always wear them love them 17. people who are hard to deal with are rarely worth it so um this goes with my personal life and this goes with my company we really like to hire and work with people who are easy to work with meaning they are part of our values they're hard working they're flexible they're responsive, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's really, really difficult to work with someone who's always absent, who's always, you know, sick, someone who always forgets things and someone who is very demanding almost on their time. It's just like very hard to work with, whether that's with influencers or with, you know, people internally in the company or um, even with friends. Like if you have friends who are really demanding and they're, they're only go to this place if they get what they want and blah, 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 blah. Honestly, it's probably not worth, <laughs> worth it. No matter what they can offer, it's just sometimes not worth it to have those people in your life. 18, luxury items. 
are usually not worth it. Now it depends on what kind of luxury items they are. For me, I like to buy like um, maybe electronics. Sometimes it's worth it. Um, having good quality items are worth it, but having name brand designer things sometimes is not worth it. That one time I purchased a Louis Vuitton bag and the strap broke, and that's the only time I've had a strap break on my bag. So ever since then, I was like, Nick say to the LV. Well, maybe in the future, I don't know, it depends, but I'm just not like into that stuff because now I know that luxury doesn't mean it's actually better. <laughs> 18, get rid of sugary drinks now because it's so hard to get over a soda addiction. So if you're addicted to soda, stop now because the older you get, the harder it'll be. And soda is just so bad for you. It really causes the stomach pudge. So if you are trying to lose that stomach pudge and you're drinking a lot of soda, that's what's causing it because it's just empty, empty sugar and calories. Number 20, embrace your age because your experiences are what make you who you are. And I just think of myself, like I would totally rather be me right now, knowing everything that I know now, being just so much more confident in who I am, knowing how to set boundaries and communicate effectively with other people, I would so much rather be 29 years old than 22 year old Daisy. 21, double check your emails and texts that you send because those are permanent. So when you apply for a job, just double check everything you read because those things are permanent. And number 22, make sure to never ever send an email or a text when you are in a bad mood or when you are angry at someone or something. I am pretty bad at this. I sometimes get fired up and I will send really mean text messages or emails, not mean, but just they're kind of hostile and not like very, very um, friendly or effective. And um, I'm really trying hard to take a step back and just like relax a little bit and maybe take a few breaths before really thinking if I should send something or not. Or, you know, write it down, put it all down on a piece of paper, put it under your pillow, sleep on it, and then read it the next morning and think if it's still appropriate to send and say everything that you wanted to to somebody. 23 is to drink a lot of water. Get into the habit of drinking a lot of water. It's just, it's just a habit, again, that you wanna build. Drink a lot of water pee a lot, get it all out of your system, and especially when you're flying, definitely drink a lot of water or you'll get in headaches. 24, things in this life take way longer than you expect them to be. Anything, especially if it's something new that you've never done before, it always takes like 10 times longer than you think it will. I don't know what rule this is, but this is just the rule of complicated life. Um, the world doesn't operate perfectly. It doesn't operate in a vacuum. It doesn't operate in a perfect system. So things just take way longer for you. For 25, things always cost more than you think they will. So let's say you're planning to start a business and you have a financial model of, or a business plan of how much it'll cost to start that. Well, it's probably gonna cost like at least three to five times more money than you think it will, just because there's all these hidden expenses of this, 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 and that that you had never anticipated. So things just cost a lot <laughs> these days. 26, valuing someone's personality and character a lot more than experience or things they have. So at Banish, we value character and personality and cultural fit a lot more than you know what skills and stuff people have because you can always learn skills. You can read a book on it, you know, you can do a training on it, but character is something you can't really change in someone. And so that's kind of how I operate my life too on the people I decide to associate myself with and who we decide to bring onto the team. 27, consistency or persistent consistency breeds success. So one of the core values we have at Banish, and I'm sorry for bringing Banish so much into this equation, but you know, it is a huge part of my life. Consistency really breeds success. You just can't do something one time and think that it's gonna like change everything and like be the end all to something. You really have to do something over and over and over and over again for several years before you can see like the fruits of your labor. So one example is for example, this YouTube channel. I started it so long ago and the reason why it took off the ground was because um, I kept making videos all the time over and over and over and over again. And I will admit I kind of stopped um, a few years ago or like this year, I kind of stopped being as consistent as I once was, which is why the views per video isn't as high as I would like them to be. But I really want to try to get it back up again. And again, no one's perfect. So I'm going to try to get it back up again. But you know, it's all about consistency. 
you know, just doing something again and again and again and tweaking it every single time you do it a little bit better is gonna make you successful no matter what it is that you wanna do. If you just keep at it and changing a little bit each time, making it better a little bit each time, you will get there, you will become successful. I'm looking at like, for example, Tati or Glam Life Guru's channel. She is so consistent. That girl pushes out videos five days a week and I don't think she's missed, like she hasn't had gaps in her video content for like the last five years or you know, 10 years. I don't know how long she's been on YouTube, but she's been on YouTube for quite a while. And I would say she's probably the most, if not one of the most successful YouTube uh, beauty bloggers out there. And there are so many other great beauty bloggers, right? There's so many great beauty bloggers out there, but they just kind of stopped, you know? And it doesn't matter how great you were, you just stop, you, you're not gonna like make it long-term. So just being consistent is so, so important if you wanna be successful at anything, whether it's weight loss, and being a better parent or spouse or whatever, like you need to be consistent. 28, <laughs> I can't believe I'm writing this down, but I need to tell you guys, it is always worth showering. Okay, so I used to be one of those people who, um, I remember like in school and stuff, like I just, it would be so hard to wake up early to shower because it was so cold, I didn't want to shower. And then my hair would be greasy and I would just not smell fresh, you know? And now that I'm older, I've interacted with a lot of people. I've noticed people who smell bad and don't shower and take care of their personal hygiene. It just, <laughs> it really affects your perception of them. Even if they're like really great and amazing, if they have BO or they're not shower, it's just, it's just worth taking that like 10 minute shower to take care of yourself, okay? So just shower. <laughs> if you don't feel like showering, prioritize it, you know? So sometimes I will shower. Um, I usually like to shower in the middle of the day. Um, I usually try to plan it like after a workout or something. I don't like showering in the morning because it's too cold, but uh, I will, always try to shower the night before if I know I'm not gonna get up early to shower the next morning. Cause I used to think, oh, I'll just shower in the morning and then I would not shower and then I would stink the rest of the day. The last thing I've learned in 29 years is appreciate those people in your life, be nice to people, be positive to them. Um, I know we live in a culture of comparing and we live in a culture of always wanting more and more and more and more and not thinking that we're good enough and not thinking that we have enough, which is something that I think I also succumb to sometimes because I am in business and I am in, on social media and I'm always trying to improve myself. But in the end of it all, we have to remember that this whole process is a journey and that the people we have in our lives are not here forever and we shouldn't take them for granted and at every moment express how much we appreciate every single person in our lives. You never know what's gonna happen and you never know if you or anyone you love is going to be able to live another day. So just make sure to appreciate them and let them know that you appreciate um, them in your life. So thank you all so much and let me know too, like what are some of the biggest, like top three lessons you have learned this year or in your life? You don't have to write all like 30 of them if you're 30, unless you want to. I would love to read um, what you've learned in your life because I'm all about gaining wisdom and hopefully next year I will have another tip to add to this. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. There's a hope.